Happy Friday from Proactive New York. Joining me this morning is Gerald Comision, CEO at Todos Medical. Gerald, it's great to see you. How are you this morning? Doing well, thank you. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Lots to get to today. First off, I want to get to the news that the company released this morning. It's halting enrollment of its phase two clinical trial in hospitalized COVID patients. Tell us why. Well, uh, upon a statistical review of the data, um, there were a couple of deaths in the study. Uh, And so typically in a study of this size, uh, it's expected that there would be deaths. Uh, And in order to review the statistical analysis plan, it became clear that a futility analysis would be important uh, because if the data shows that the deaths were on placebo versus drug, you know, that could be something where physicians might want to make a decision in terms of, you know, crossing people over and giving them Tolivir um, versus, you know, the opposite, in which case there would be a discussion about whether or not we should continue the study. So at this point, it made a lot of sense after reviewing the blinded data to pause the enrollment, uh, which was already planned, and then to review it at this juncture, uh, especially given that uh, we have, you know, the end of the year coming up and we have to make decisions with regards to pivotal studies that we intend to initiate next year. Um, 31 patients was more than sufficient based upon the review. So what are the next steps here? Analyze the the current data that you have. Correct, yeah. So we brought in uh, Dr. Jules Mitchell, I was got an extensive background in dealing with FDA uh, and bringing products uh, across the finish line as a CRO. Uh, so he's going to be assisting us in uh, completing the analysis, updating uh, everything that's required, and especially looking at uh, some of the new endpoints that are becoming more and more important in COVID trials, such as IL-6 uh, and other things, biomarkers uh, that could really differentiate what's going on in the you know, treatment arm versus the uh, control arm, especially in light with some of the mechanistic data that we've seen come out in publications like Nature and Neuroscience, and obviously the clinical data that we saw from Pfizer's 3CL protease inhibitor that showed very positive outcomes. Uh, We think that ours, because it's combined with an antipsychotic, will have uh, better efficacy, and that's why we're going after this hospitalized population. So altogether, it made a lot of sense for us to do this, and uh, we're very, very excited about the potential data coming up. Understood. We'll look forward to it. Separately, I also want to talk about the distribution agreement that you have formed with a company in Greece for Tolovid. Tolovid, tell us more about why you choose that particular partner. Well, uh, they've got extensive uh, retail distribution. So uh, in Europe, uh, there is uh, much more uh, uptake uh, and widespread use of dietary supplements versus uh, pharmaceuticals. Uh, So people use uh, dietary supplements and ingredients associated therewith uh, kind of in their daily lives uh, and especially as, uh, you know, herbal remedies. Uh, And so, you know, given the profile of Tolivir, uh, and again, given the increased interest in 3CL protease inhibitors in general recently, uh, you know, we were in discussions about how to move forward uh, previously. Uh, and now it, it certainly became quite germane and they became very, very interested in closing. So we've closed that deal now. Uh, we're expecting our first purchase order. Actually, we expected it after Thanksgiving. We actually expect it likely before Thanksgiving now. So hopefully we'll have some news on that next week. Uh, and they are very, very eager to start to deliver to the market because there's a lot of demand for uh, for our product. And T Cell Protect Hellas, that's the name of the company. They've also made an investment in Totos. Is that right? Correct, correct. So they were also granted rights to the Tolovir uh, therapeutic drug candidate in Greece, uh, and they uh, obviously want to see uh, the data coming out of the interim analysis and the further development. So they made a strategic investment into Todos. Uh, They basically came into the crossover round, but without uh, the OID, without any warrants, uh, and they were granted a right to convert into a subsidiary that we're forming to advance the 3CL protease program. So this is a a strategic investment for us uh, with a very strong partner in Europe with extensive retail distribution, who also is, is plugged into uh, the uh, health authorities, uh, and uh, they're going to be advancing the discussions on bringing Tolovir uh, through the regulatory pathway in Greece as quickly as possible. 
And lastly, Gerald, while I have you here, the FDA has also, from my understanding, reauthorized the emergency use authorization for the company's CPAS neutralizing antibody test. What does that mean for Todos? Well, uh, for us, when we report data to clients, uh, you know, to patients, uh, we've been basically able to uh, make claims as related to qualitative. So you either have neutralizing antibodies or you don't have neutralizing antibodies. And we've been able to report, you know, titers, but we haven't been able to say much about what those titers mean. Now uh, that we've got this emergency use authorization, uh, basically validating that the method that we are uh, using to quantify the antibodies is, is valid. Uh, now we can start to reference the published literature as it relates to the quantitation and the titers. So when we report to patients, we're doing a lot of work now trying to uh, engage with them and explain to them how they can use the titers um, in combination with their physician to make you know, best decisions for them uh, with regards to their health. So uh, you know, it's, it's very important as the booster discussion is going forward uh, because there's a lot of people who are hesitant to get a booster. They don't wanna get a booster. Uh, they wanna know whether or not they've got, you know, need to get a booster. And so for those people who are hesitant, being able to take a test to show, you know what, my immunity is in fact waning and I, I do need a booster, that's a very important option for them. And we think that could tip the scales in favor of people actually getting booster shots. So um, we know that, you know, while there is a uh, widespread interest politically uh, to really get the boosters out there, the hesitancy is the problem. And so this, I think this EUA now can help uh, ease some concerns of people with going ahead and getting that booster shot. Lots on the go for you here, Gerald. Thank you so much for the time today. Appreciate it. Thank you.